Hi everyone, so you're probably excited about getting your first crop of tomatoes coming in and I'm already getting questions about blossom end rot. Some people had it last year and they want to know if there's anything they could do to prevent it uh, this year and hopefully this will help you if you do see it on your tomatoes. Now blossom end rot is due to the lack of calcium in the fruit and what happens is and it's called blossom end rot because here's a tomato, this is the part that's attached to the fruit or the plant and the blossom part is right here and blossom end rot you'll get this big brown blotch right there you could still eat the tomato just cut it off so calcium is responsible for cell formation so when you don't have calcium the cells of course of the fruit aren't going to form and you're going to have this mushy area now you see these sprays these blossom end rot sprays don't use those so what's happening is there is most likely calcium in the soil it's very rare for calcium to be lacking in soils if you have really really high acidic soils really really sandy soils you may be lacking calcium but if you have calcium carbonate in your water chances are it's not calcium that's lacking so you could add calcium all day long and it's not gonna help so what's happening is early on when the first set of tomatoes are forming temperatures are still like this soil moisture levels are still like this and what the plant's using it's still like this right as temperatures heat up and cool heat up and cool so the first set of uh, fruit generally doesn't get that calcium to it because it's not utilizing the water properly now calcium is picked up through roots only moves one way in a plant and it moves in the xylem so early on all the calcium that the fruit's going to use has to be moved into the plant by the xylem so it has a very short period of time and only one way of going and getting it basically it can't move around the plant and go to where it's needed it just moves one way so if you get the sprays and they seem to work for you it's just a coincidence because by the time you notice them working temperatures have evened out moisture levels have evened out now to help with that you want to add compost and mulch to the top layer of your soil to insulate your soils avoid soils drying out too much and then getting too wet but try to sort of compensate for nature as much as you can but sometimes you're just going to get blossom and rot it's going to be a uh, difficult so the sprays don't work because they calcium will be taken up by the foliage but what happens is it just sits there and it's not going to move into the fruit and if you spray the fruit the fruit isn't going to really uptake that calcium as much as you need now i've also heard tums but once again tums you're going to sprinkle it in the soil it's not the lack of calcium in the soil and tums really isn't that great so use calcium nitrate if you're going to uh, fertilize so hopefully that that helps a little bit remember don't buy the sprays, just give it time, keep the soil moisture even, and you could still eat the fruit.